Welcome or welcome back to Trouble with Tish. I am Tish and I be trouble. Today, as you can see, we are doing a declutter. <laughs> this is the same thing I did last year. Um, I have used this same piece of material to cover my table for the last year. As you can see, it is uh, stained up with makeup and we can change it after our declutter, but not before. All right. So if you want to see what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of, then stick around. Troubles on the mind, hands around your throat, out in open waters trying to stay afloat. Remember to forget the future and the All right, like I said, we are on pallets. So we are going to start off. Here we go, right here. We have Perfusion Cosmetics Mixed Metals Glam. Look, that was my beautiful face. Uh, I can't get rid of that. <laughs> that's um, that's got greens and purples and. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, we're getting, we're 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 gonna keep that one. All right, then we have BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Smoke. And I don't have a lot of cool toned palettes. This is one of the few I have. And I really want to keep that. All right, we have OPV Beauty, the Spotlight palette. Now, got some shades in here that look like they are pretty similar. But as you can see, they are not. They have beautiful, beautiful shades. So I think I wanna try, I want to keep this a little bit longer. The Tropical Dreams palette. Hmm. I think I am going to declutter this one and keep this one. Right, now we have Bebe Shine 15 Shadow 15 Shade Palette. I think I'm going to declutter this one as well. All right, the Kai Cosmetics, all of you. Well, as we can see, it's kind of my color story right there. We're definitely keeping this one. We're gonna try that one. All right, we have the you can be splashy candies. I think it is time for me to let this one go. I've had it for quite a while and I have not used it. All right, we have some Profusion palettes. We have, these are the 35 shade pigment palettes. This is Paradise. Hmm, okay. And then we have Mirage. If I'm going to pick up one of these palettes, it's going to be this one. I'm going to get rid of Mirage. Okay. Then we have Sunkissed, which is normally my jam. We've already discovered I like this one. So we have Sunkissed and Festival. I like them both. I'm going to keep them both. Yes, I am. Then we have some other Profusion palettes here. We have the Smoky palette. We have the citrine. Citrine. We have the emeralds, the meadow, the mauves, and fuchsia. I think I'm going to get rid of mauves and fuchsia and keep meadow and emeralds 
citrine, and smoky. All right, next we have this pile here. We have the 18 count matte essentials from Morphe. I just got this for Christmas from my son and um, I'm definitely keeping that. We have the Michaela Glam Light and I got this from Beauty and More with Renee. I won uh, one of her giveaways and this was in it. I am keeping that. This is the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette. And I got this from Debutant. And I've wanted this palette since it came out, but I would never had the chance to pick it up. So I'm keeping it. This is the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette. I got this from Adventurous with Senia or a beauty who crafts and I am keeping it. I have not even gotten a chance to use it yet, I don't think. All right, then we have the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. And I've not gotten a chance to use this yet either. And I would really like to use it. So I'm keeping that. I have the Morphe 35M. This is the Boss Moods palette. And I got this from my Shelly. She got me this and uh, a couple other ones. And uh, she obviously knows me well. All them grungy greens. Yep, yep, yep. I'm definitely keeping this. Even if I can't use it anymore, I'm keeping it. This is the 35V. I got this from Joe, just Joe with Row. And the uh, mailman decided that it was his job to have a uh, enact a personal vendetta against my palette. So I don't know what he did. All right, I'm not sure where that cut off, but I'm pretty sure my um, postal carrier decided to use my palette as a football and um, broke the shades, but it is a beautiful palette and I am keeping it. All right, this one, this grubby, grungy palette is the 35F. Uh, it is the Fall Into Frost. It's the very first palette that I got. I know it doesn't look like it, but uh, I use this palette quite a bit. It's actually my most used palette. When I just want to throw something on real quick, use one of these mats and kind of do whatever. And I am keeping this. All right, this is the Cake Palette from Glamlight. It's a beautiful palette. I've not had the chance to use it yet. So I want to keep it and make sure that I do use it. All right, and then there is this. I got this from my son last Christmas. I don't know how much I am going to exactly use this, but it's the first time he bought me makeup and it was really sweet. So I am keeping this. Then there's these. All right. This is the pizza slice from Clam Light. It is the Meat Lovers. I got this from Debuton as a birthday gift. And that is very beautiful. I am keeping that. All right, and then we got the other pizza slice, which is Veggie Lovers. Oh, my frog. It's so hard to get those out of there. That is the greens. I am keeping that. All right, and this is the Glam Donut, and that is the color story. And I am keeping that. And then I got this Wonder Woman, an Eye for Justice eyeshadow palette. I got this from my dear friend, Joe, and I have not used it yet. I'm kind of, I don't wanna mess it up, but I think I'm going to use it but it doesn't really matter if it's good or not because not getting rid of this. I love Wonder Woman and it was a very, very thoughtful gift. All right, so we have the Fiery palette. We have the Brights palette. The Midnight palette. 
the berries palette. I just got these uh, last three for Christmas this year and the earthy palette. I'm very excited to try this one out and I am keeping all of those. All right and this is my Jeffree Star collection. So we're going to go through these palettes. First we have the mini breaker. I got this, uh, I bought it from Rhonda Said. Do not regret it. This is the Shane Dawson Mini Controversy, which I also bought from Rhonda Said. Again, beautiful. Okay, then we have the Weirdo palette, which my husband bought for me. We have the Androgyny palette which I got for on a buy one, get one. I got the Thirsty palette, which I got on a buy one, get one. And I am keeping all of my Jeffree Star for now. This is my very first Jeffree Star. It's the Conspiracy palette with Shane Dawson. So beautiful. And these are his trunk palettes. This is the next trunk palette that I got from him. It's the Blood of Sugar. This trunk palette is Blood Money. And I made my husband give me his credit card while he was driving me to surgery so that I could buy this one on launch day. And that is the color story. All right, and this is my last trunk palette, and it is the Gothic Beach. And I think this is, along with Pricked, my favorite uh, Jeffree Star palette. It is dark, and I just love it. It's, it speaks to me. All right, and then we have the Oddballs. We have the Pricked palette came in a little handbag type case. And we have the Bloodlust, which came in the velvet case. And last but not least, we have the Alien palette. And I need to use this more. All right. So this is the next drawer in my Alex unit. So first things, let me put that there. First things first, we have O to the Oracle from Star Gem Cosmetics. It's very beautiful. I think it is time to part with this. I was going to part with it last time, but I decided to keep it. And I think it is time. So I am going to finally part with this one. All right, we have Notoriously Morbid Dapper Darklings. And that is the color story. I'm going to hold on to this one more time, but if I don't use it this year, I'm going to get rid of it. This is from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the uh, collab with Chippo Gray. I believe it's called Rudo Rowami. And that is the color. This, this is a very, very beautiful palette. I'm not going to get rid of this. All right. From uh, Cosmic Brushes. Uh, I think they're changing their name to Cosmic Beauty. This is the Muse palette, which is stunning and I'm not getting rid of it. This is the Serenity palette from the same company, which I'm also not getting rid of. Then from Blend Bunny, I have the Blends palette, which not getting rid of. The Surge palette, which I'm not getting rid of. And the Dollhouse palette, 
which I'm definitely not getting rid of. I made some looks with this. I like really enjoyed this. All right, then we have the ABH Norvina. Now, <sighs> I'm going to keep this for one more round, one more year, and if I have not used it or I do not like it within that year, I'm going to declutter this. There's no point in having it if I'm not using it. And we have from 5050 Cosmetics, we have the Autumn Palette and the Winter Palette. And I am keeping both of these. From Shroud Cosmetics and Betty Jean, we have It's Freaking Bats. And I am keeping this as well. Then when, from It's Bell, we have the Break the Rules Palette. And I am keeping this. It's very beautiful. This shade right here. I mean, haha, <laughs> haha. This shade right here. And those are like butter. Like butter. Okay. Put this green one here because we can't pass up a green, right? Like, yeah. Keeping. All right, and this is a, another brand I will not part with. This is Fantasy Cosmetica. Um, this is the Bard palette. It's beautiful. This is the Sorcerer palette. Also beautiful. And the Druid palette, which we all know why I picked that up. Also beautiful. Now, here's the thing. I contacted a few companies to ask them for some advice as far as like business goes, being in the beauty business. And um, the only one to respond was Fantasy Cosmetica. And they were really understanding and really nice and very helpful. This is a great brand just on the fact that their product is amazing. But the fact that they were willing to set aside some time to help me out when they did not have to, that's amazing. All right, then we have Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. We have the Greed Palette. We have the Wrath Palette. And we have the Gluttony Palette. And I think it's time. I kept these out from the declutter last year and I still haven't used them. So I am going to part with them. This is Ammo Cosmetics. And the reason that's so messed up is because, well, I've repressed it like a bazillion times. This is also Ammo Cosmetics. This is the Sunflower palette and this is the Steampunk palette. Now they're very pretty, but they're not worth the mess. They keep breaking and I keep repressing, breaking, repressing. I'm over it. So I'm going to declutter these. All right. So we have from Sigil Inspired, Tammy Tanuka. We have the, whatever this palette is. It's very beautiful. Then we have the Peacock palette. It's also very beautiful and the chinchilla palette which is also very beautiful so i just dropped this one that one flew out um i feel bad using these on camera because nobody can get them anymore uh at least not here in the united states unless you have somebody who has a i believe it's a russian bank account um they do not sell to people who do not have a russian bank account i don't think they're allowed to these are very beautiful. I paid quite a bit of money for them. So I'm going to keep them. Then we have the Impulsive Palette by Melt Cosmetics. I was given this palette by Clara Barrera. It is beautiful. The color story is amazing and I am keeping it. I cannot remember where I got this palette from. Oh, I'm definitely keeping that. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. All right. Gonna have to figure out where I got it from. Cause I'm gonna have to be able to tell people what the, the name of it is. <laughs> All right, then from Sugar Drizzle, we have this palette, which is beautiful and I'm keeping it. And then we have the Man I Love Frogs, otherwise known as the MILF palette, which I am also keeping. Then I have a few from Unearthly Cosmetics, which used to be Alien Cosmetics. Uh, this one says Alien Cosmetics. This is the Serendipity palette. I'm keeping that. This is the Witching Hour from Unearthly. I am keeping that. This is the Lore, and it says Alien. I'm keeping that. And this is the Poison Apple, and it also says Alien. These are the same palette. That's funny. I'm still keeping them. Then we have Electrum Cosmetics, the Sea Witch palette. And you can pry that from my cold dead hands. That is unbelievably beautiful. And there's like, what are you doing to with, 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 what, what are you doing with your eyeshadows? Cause like Electrum is kicking all y'all's asses. And that wasn't an expensive palette. What what y'all what y'all doing with your lives there, brands? Cause Electrum is killing it. Ugh, that is stunning. I have not ran into an Electrum Cosmetics product that is not absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna keep buying Electrum Cosmetics for sure. <sighs> This is Adept Cosmetics. This is the um, Arrow Inspired palette. That is beautiful. I mean, and this was more expensive than that one. That one had more shine. All right, then we have from the Collective Cosmetics In My Mind's Eye. Just look at that. It's so pretty. Collective Cosmetics is awesome. All right, then we have from Cindy Grace, the Be Mine palette. And I got this because Clara Barrera showed it and I was like, well, I kind of have to have that. I need that. So this is Clara's fault and it's beautiful. All right, then from Salem Cosmetics, uh, she collabed with Smink Barone ruined and did the forest heart palette and uh check out that goodness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. keeping that was a no-brainer all right this is the dusk palette from you can be I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. This is the Clamonatrix Cosmetics Nearly Natural Eye Palette. And uh, I think we all know why I got this palette. But like, stop. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think this is my favorite drawer. <laughs> I'm keeping that. This I'm just I'm just keeping it. It's there's no way I'm not keeping. But then we have this pile. All right, from Pariah House Cosmetics, we have Strange and Unusual, which is beautiful. Oh yeah, keeping. <clears throat> and then we have Inspired by CRPS. Like, 
sweet. Uh huh. Keeping for sure. All right, and then from Sugar Drizzle, it says, "Paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dilling with you." This is the pickle palette. Like, shut the front door. Really? That's staying. Alright, this is Pariah House Cosmetics. It is the Gone Grunge Palette. Da, 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 da. Yes. This is staying, and you can pry it from my cold, dead hands. All right, this is Clarity Cosmetics, the Evil Mermaid palette. I just got this, not getting rid of it. And I have from Chantico Beauty, the Hearth palette, and I am going to keep that. This is another one. This is the Croc palette from Clarity. And I am obviously keeping that. That is like my whole jam with makeup. And we have Black Moon Cosmetics. This is the Urban Myth Palette. And I'm keeping that. Then we have the Millen Row Poison Ivy Palette. I have not used it, but I really want to because it was expensive. So I'm going to keep that for now. This is Adept Cosmetics. This is the Amunet New Palette. It's very pretty. This is Glaminatrix, the Nocturnal Palette. I got some shades that came a little goobered up. This is the Accessories Palette from Lele Posh. I'm gonna keep this for one more year. If I have not used it, I will be getting rid of it. This is the You Can Be Palette with Onwin. It is the Cellophane Palette. And that is the Color Story. And I got this because of Senia. She used it on her channel and I was like, ooh, I need that. All right, so I am keeping all those. This is a maybe. All right, so next drawer. From ZC Cosmetics, we have the Anderson Gayer Cat. And I got this one. We have And the uh, sugar skull. All right, straight off. I love this one. I'm going to keep this. Let's see. We have this one. I like this one as well. I am keeping this. We have the onk. See, I like this one. And I like this one. I want to keep this one. Then we have this one. The scarab. Oh yeah, the scarab I'm keeping. Not even a question. This is the color story. And we have the cobra. Which I am also going to keep. I think I am going to pass these ones along. I am going to either give them to my niece or my sister. I can't believe I'm getting rid of uh, ZC palettes. <laughs> then we have my Nomad palettes. I have the Santa's Village palette, which I'm keeping. I don't really foresee getting rid of 
any of my Nomad palettes, actually. This is the Hudson Valley, which I'm keeping. The Royal Europe, which I'm obviously keeping. That is one of the most beautiful, I mean, just, come on. Yeah, keeping. This is the Berlin Underground, which I'm keeping. <laughs> and this is the Cartagena Magica, which I'm keeping. This is the Haunted Europe. And it has a lenticular cover. It's very beautiful. And I'm definitely keeping it. This is the Verona. Not getting rid of that. And this is the Ghost Town USA, which also has a lenticular cover. And that is the color story. And I'm keeping all of my Nomad. All right, and then we have the Pat McGrath Christmas palettes. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity. I am keeping that. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey, which I'm keeping. And then this is the Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana. I don't know why it didn't want to come up. And I'm keeping that. All right, then we have Lunar Beauty. This is the Moon Spell. And I'm keeping that. And then we have the Nude Prism, which I'm also keeping. And then we have this, which is sealed. And it will stay that way. It's the That Time of Year by the Gourmand Girls. And the only reason I am keeping this one is that it was because it was a collaboration with Debutan, Adventures of Senia, and The Brutally Honest Beauty. They're three of my um, favorite creators on this platform. And that is the only reason I am keeping this Gourmand Girls palette. However, it will stay sealed. I am keeping it because it is their palette not Gourmand Girls. All right, then the Ciate London Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette. And that is what we are looking at with that. I am going to put this in the maybe pile. Then we have this. This is the 669 palette from Martine Cosmetics. It is stunning, it is beautiful, it is gorgeous, and I'm keeping it. And we have the Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm gonna keep that. We have the CXC Beauty Got Lucky. That is that palette. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the New Wave Vibes from CXC Beauty. And uh, I'm gonna declutter this one. This one pissed me off. I ordered this, I talked to the owner and um, he said he would ship me a new shade not a whole palette just the shade that's all I asked for the one shade that was crushed I spent my money on it I expect it to be whole um, and then he said yeah sure no problem I'll, I can send you the shade that's not an issue and I haven't heard from him since so yeah that is a declutter and we have the Glamistry Beauty Girl Code palette this is a beautiful palette. Uh, I don't know why more people don't talk about this brand. Like, it's a good brand. I'm definitely keeping it. All right, and this is the We're All Mad Here palette from ZC. And I am keeping that. That's, <laughs> yeah. This is the Blood Moon Cosmetics. No, this is a Wednesday Cosmetics. So this is the Blood Moon Palette. This is her only palette. Uh, she needs to come out with more because I definitely need more 
of her palettes. I love this palette. It's beautiful. If you go back and you look at my Chucky look uh, for Halloween, this is the palette I used. I also have another um, video on here. We did a collab where we all used the Blood Moon palette. I spilled water on my first one and it, it messed up the palette. So I almost cried, but I went and I bought another one and this is my backup. So <laughs> we cannot ruin this one. <laughs> All right, this is the KKW Camo Palette. Now, as loath as I am to say that I enjoy anything Kim Kardashian put her grubby little hands on, this is a good palette. I, I like it and I'm keeping it. All right, this is the Destino Palette from Alamar. I got this in a box. And you slide that to the side. So that you can unlock and lock the palette. Um, I have not gotten a chance to try it yet, so I'm going to keep it. I don't have anything else I don't believe from Alamar. So I'm going to keep that and try that. Then we have these palettes here. This is Royal Bloom Eyeshadow Compact from ZC Cosmetics. It's from the Palace Identity Collection. It is beautiful. And it comes in its own little bougie pouch. I'm keeping that. All right, then from Midas Cosmetics, we have the Volume 1 and the Volume 2. And I'm keeping both of those. And then another palette that I got from Shelly is the Morphe 9G palette. That's beautiful. I am keeping that for sure. Then from Menagerie Cosmetics, I have the Serenity palette. This is the palette that they, uh, they did with Annette. And it is very pretty. I am keeping that. And then from Ofra, we have the Mini Mix palette. And this is the collab with Hot Mess Mama. And it is beautiful and I am keeping it. All right, and then we have some Odin's Eye. We have the Hella palette. And I'm going to keep that. I have the Freya palette. And I'm going to keep that. And then I have the Hummingbird palette, which is the collab they did with Fancy Face. And I'm going to keep that. Now, the Odin's Eye palettes that I have tried have not been great. But I haven't tried these yet. So, I'm gonna try these before I make my judgment of whether I think they're any good. I have my Natasha Denona palettes. This is the Love palette. I got this from Beauty and More with Renee, and I am keeping it. Surprise, surprise. All right, the next Natasha Denona palette I got is the Zendo palette. I got it from BoxyCharm. And Guess what? I'm keeping it. All right, then we got the Retro Glam Palette, which I got on sale at Sephora, and I'm keeping it. I love the Natasha Denona formula. I did not realize until this last year that I even liked Natasha Denona. This is the Yucca Palette. This is my second most used palette from Natasha Denona. It is stunning and I'm keeping it. This is the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha. And this is my most used <laughs> palette. The nude, the, the nude one. Cause you know, why would I? All right, keeping. And then this is the Xenon palette, which I am also keeping. If you care to use my code, it is trouble, and you can save 15% at Natasha Denona. Then I have two Huda palettes. This is the Rose Quartz. It's got one of those germ shades right there. So I call it a COVID shade. 
And then this is the Empowered palette. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to use either one of these yet, and I've not tried Huda's formula, so I'm excited to try her out, and I'm keeping these. Alright, and then last I have the Ethereal palette, which is supposed to be a dupe for one, uh, another Huda palette. It's got the COVID shade right there. I have not tried it yet, and I'm going to keep it. All right, so this is the Illuminati X Isa. Um, I have actually decluttered this palette <laughs> a couple times, um, and I just got sent it in. So I think I'm going to, before I even open it, because it is fully sealed, I am going to pass it along to a uh, one of my nieces uh, because I'm not going to use it, but somebody should. It is a beautiful color story. All right, this is the Perfusions Face Palette. I think I'm going to set this one aside because I'm not going to have it in my collection, but I want to keep it. I have uh, nieces who come over who like stuff like this. And while I don't want something that my nieces are playing into my collection, um, I don't want to get rid of it. It's really cool. But yeah, so technically it's being decluttered, but I am keeping it. Right. Then we have from Complex Culture, we have the, it says ideal for light to medium skin tones. All right. This is the full time eyeshadow palette. Okay. Light to medium skin tones. So that checks out. All right. I'm keeping that. This is the full time edit two. And I'm keeping that. It created quite a beautiful look. All right. And this is the full time edit three. And I am keeping this as well. And then this is the Futures So Bright eyeshadow palette. And I am keeping that. I quite enjoy Complex Cultures um, formula, so I'm keeping those. We have the Michaela Pot 2 10 color palette. And I am keeping that. The Alter Ego Temptress palette, which I am keeping. It's beautiful. The Urban Decay Naked, no, yeah, Naked Wild West. I'm going to keep this. My husband bought this for me um, last Christmas and I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. So I'm gonna keep that. All right, then I have the Kaleidos. Futurism 3 Astro Pinks. And Somebody said the other day, you can't make a co cohesive color story. It's not a cohesive color story. You cannot make a look out of just this palette. And I beg to differ. I think that if you put this uh, on your outer corner in your crease, and then you blend it out with those two shades, and then you push put this black one right there in the corner, kind of darken up this color, you can then put this and this on the lid, and it, it will be so beautiful. So yeah, I think that it's a cohesive color story. You just have to be a little more inventive with it. Anyways, that being said, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I also have the Flower Punk palette. This is the Flower Punk palette. And that is the color story. And I love that and I'm keeping it. I have a few palettes from Kaleidos and I believe I will be keeping all of them. All right, this is the Ace Beauté Classical Paradise. And I will be keeping this. This looks like exactly my color story. I love that. All right, we have the Voxy Charm, Hello Charmer. I'm gonna keep this for one more cycle, one more year, that's all it gets. If I haven't used it by then, it's gone. All right, then we have the Gemini palette from Melt. And then we have the Gemini 2. And I will be keeping those. They're lovely palettes. And we have the Mary Jane, which is also a beautiful palette. And I am keeping it. 
we have the 27, which is again a beautiful palette. I'm keeping it. Then we have from What's Up Beauty, we have the Dragon Eye palette. And if you don't know what I'm going to do with this, you've not been watching. I'm keeping that. That is a stunning palette. It is messy because I used it. All right, we have the Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics. I got this from Beauty and More with Renee. And I think it is time to declutter this. All right, we have from the Beauty Crop, the Espresso Yourself. I'm going to keep this one. We have from Too Faced, the Sweet Peach. And yes, it smells like peaches. We also have the Cinnamon Swirl. And it smells like cinnamon, which I'm keeping. And we have the ABH Riviera. I'm gonna keep this for now, but if I haven't used it by next year, I'm going to probably toss it up in the air and shoot it. I don't know, I feel like I spent the money on this. I should, it just, I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't really excite me. So we're gonna have to figure out how to make it excite me. So I'm gonna keep it for one more year and then I'm tossing it. All right, then for Mace Butte, we have the Violet Sage palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful color story. I am keeping that. We have the Ace Butte Smoky Rose palette. I am also keeping. We have the Tropical Vibes, which I'm obviously keeping, as well as the Nostalgia Palette, which I'm also keeping. I quite enjoy Ace Butte. We have the Artemis Palette from Alter Ego, and I like that color story. I'm going to keep this. We have the Coastal Palette from Alter Ego. <clears throat> It looks like this is a dupe for that other Huda palette with the pastels. All right, Alter Ego. I see you. Okay, I'm keeping that. Then we have the Harmony palette, which I'm keeping. The Canyon palette, which I'm keeping. The Goddess palette, which I'm keeping. And then we have from Glam Light the Dirty Martini, which, yeah, keeping. All right, and then we have the Falling For You from Ace Butte, which I'm keeping. And then we have the Vintage Dawn, as well as the Scarlet Dusk. And I am keeping both of those. All right, then we have the Real Her Dream So Big, and I'm keeping that. I have the Ciate Lunion Brazilian Glow Face Palette. Um, I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. From Beauty Bay, I got the color, the Disney color, um, the Disney color, uh, the Disney color collection, mini palette trio. We have Alice in Wonderland, Dumbo and the Jungle Book. And I'm keeping all of those. All right, then we have the Violet Voss uh, Wild Dahlia. And I'm keeping that. The O oh Snap. I'm keeping that. This is from Melt. This is the Bad Zodiac Fire. Keeping that. And then we have the Seattle London, the Velvet Palette. And that is pretty. I am keeping that. All right, then we have the Olive Palette from Seattle London. And I'm keeping that. The Monopop Eyeshadow Palette from A Whoop, Avon. I'm keeping that. All right, then from Huda, we have the Emerald Obsessions. We have the Ruby Obsessions. And we have the Coral Obsessions. 
And I'm going to keep all of those for now. All right, and then we have Zoeva Spice of Life, which I'm going to keep. And we have the Viseart Petite Pro, uh, whatever this one is. I got this one from Senia, so I'm keeping that. All right, and then I have the Chromazone from She Glam. This is the Time Warp. And check that out. And we have Velocity. What? Come on, sheet lamp. I'm keeping both of these. All right, we are on our last drawer. We have the Butter London Natural Goddess Palette. I think it is time to let this go. All right, and then we have the Erd Palette from Odin's Eye. You think I would love this palette? I can't stand this palette. I hate this palette. It's just, it's horrible. I'm decluttering this one. This one sucks. It pissed me off because it's green. It's supposed to, I got it because it was green. I love green, right? But this palette was so bad. Anyways, decluttering. And I have from Dose of Colors, the Blushing Berries palette. I'm going to keep this. The Ofra Signature Palette Symphony. I'm keeping this. That's beautiful. It's just beautiful. We have the Sephora Palette Clean Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. I got this from Debuton. I'm keeping that. All right. And then we have the Eyeshadow Palette 5. It also says palette number 11. And I'm going to keep that. This is the Alloy Palette. And I'm going to keep that. And this is the Fez Palette. And I'm also going to keep that. Then we have the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Subversive Palette. I'm going to keep this. We have the Rare Beauty Confident Energy Palette. And I'm going to keep that as well. We have the ColourPop High Society. I'm going to keep that. I have the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome Palette. And I'm keeping that. I have the um, Natasha Denona bronze palette. This is the baby bronze palette, which I really liked. So I'm going to keep that as well. I have the Joa Beauty es Escapade palette, Lavender Fields. And I am keeping this as well. All right, then we have some e.l.f. bite size palettes. This is the Very Bad. This is the Rose Water. The Hot Jalapeno. This is the Good Vibes Only Hey Sunshine. And the Good Vibes Only Psychedelic Drinks. I'm going to keep all of them. We have these. This is from Il Maquillage. It is the color Boss in Jackpot. I never reach for it. I can't get it out of there. I'm going to declutter this. It's a beautiful color but I never reach for it and I can't use it if I never reach for it. All right, we have the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Eyeshadow. I love this. I, I use this when I just wanna throw on a look. It's great. I'm keeping this. This is the Delancey Quad that we got in the Ice Cream Beauty Box. It is beautiful. I'm keeping that. 
This is the Il Maquillage Color Boss Quad, Color Boss Squad Multi-Dimensional Eye Color Quad. I actually really like this as well, um, and have used it. I am keeping it. Now, from ZC Cosmetics, we have the Macaron Palette, the Ice Cream Palette, the Pudding Palette, and the Cupcake Palette. I think I'm going to pass on the Cupcake Palette, and I'm going to keep the other three. This is the House Labs Glam Room number one. And I'm going to keep that. This is the She Glam Virtuous Virgo palette. And I'm going to keep that. Oh, it's, it's got glitter pieces and don't want to go away. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> All right. Those won't ever go away. <laughs> then we have Models Own Wonderland eyeshadow palette. Uh, it is time to get rid of this. I am going to declutter. All right, then we have the Becca Pearl Glow Shivering Eye Palette. And I know you can't get this brand anymore, but like, shut up. Really? Becca, come back. Like, please, come back. All right, I'm keeping this, obviously. It says the Spice of Life palette from Ciate London. It kind of feels like a lot of these Ciate London palettes are the same. I'm going to keep this one. And then we have the Corpse Bride from Revolution. This shade just does not want to stay together. All right, we'll see how long that stays together. I'm going to keep this. Then we have the NARS Climax palette because why would you give it a normal name? I'm going to keep that. We have the ColourPop Sage the Day. I got this this Christmas from my son. I'm going to keep it. This is the uh, Child Palette from The Mandalorian. I'm keeping that. This is the Mandalorian Palette. And I'm keeping that. This is the Darth Vader palette, and I'm keeping that. Then we have the Tinkerbell, Sprinkle a Little Magic. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that. Violet Voss, All of You Forever. I am keeping that. The Pure Raw Beauty Christie collab. I am keeping this. It's the colorful side. That's the neutral side and the colorful side. This is the Lethal is Dead between Lethal and um, Teresa is Dead. I'm keeping that, although I'm upset with Lethal. This is the Nomad by Juvia's. I'm going to keep that. The Tartiste Pro Remix. Oh, it smells like chocolate. It smells so good. Now I'm keeping that, even if I'm just smelling it. This is the, the Ofra Good To Go palette, which I got from Joe Just Joe. I have so many palettes, I just need to whittle them down so that I can use what I have. All right, we have the Alori 3 palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm keeping that. Then from Colored Rain, we have the Rose Garden. which I'm keeping. We have the Botanicals, which I'm keeping, and the Queen Bee, which I'm keeping. Colored Rain has a beautiful uh, formula. All right, then we have the At Forest Sight from, Rob, from ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie, which I'm keeping. It's like my perfect color story. The, uh, we have the Boudoir Noir, and the Menage et Moi. 
I think it's time to get rid of these. I'm going to pass these along. All right, and then we have the In the Springs palette. I actually got this from Clara. Clara Barrera. It's a beautiful palette. I'm going to keep that. All right, and then we have the Gather Around Sisters, which I'm not getting rid of. That's mine. I got it. I'm keeping. All right, then we have the Revolution Chilled with Cannabis Sativa. And then I have the Forever Flawless. I'm going to get rid of the Forever Flawless and I'm going to keep the Chilled. All right, and the very last palette is the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette with uh, Angelica Nyquist. Nyquist. All right, and uh, I am keeping this. All right, so now we have these left from my maybes. We have the Brazilian Glow Face Palette from Ciate London. The Dusk Twilight Dusk Palette from You Can Be, and the Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette from Seattle London. I'm going to say keep, keep the clutter. All right, so that concludes my whole year of decluttering. Till next year. Um, hopefully by next year I will have found uh, out which of these palettes I like and which I do not and therefore I can just declutter those no problem. I do Palette Picker Friday which I let the wheel pick a palette for me and I use it. I do Wear Test Wednesday, Wednesdays where I uh, test out foundations and concealers. I do Mask Mondays um, where I put on a face mask and tell you about all the drama that's going on in my life <laughs> or I just unbox something because I tend to buy a lot of stuff um, hopefully we can add some new stuff in this year and uh, have some more fun so go ahead and like comment subscribe stick around and enjoy all that is the glorious mess of myself and um, yeah I hope every single one of you has an absolutely amazing day and I will see you all next time Bye. Troubles on the mind, hands around your throat, out and open, water's trying to stay up.